flesh and um, I've been asked to talk a little bit about um, why I collect um, a few of the pieces that we have here at the museum. Um, this one piece I have that we chose um, is the first thing my husband and I bought together and we weren't married at the time nor were we living together or even in the same state or city um, but because we were poor and young we uh, divided the cost and he framed it and we could make it happen and I think that was the beginning of our commitment to um, the art world and um, what it gives back to us um, in terms of the search and, um, and connection to uh, the world that's larger than us. Um, and it becomes our connection both to a greater history of humanity and, and uh, things beyond our, our own life, but also our personal journey. It, it, it uh, speaks, when you look back on pieces, it speaks to our um, personal journey and how we've evolved as people. And so it's, it's twofold. The teapots uh, are just a small collection within a collection. I think they're just fun little objects. Uh, they're animating. Uh, they're they're uh, the antidote to the uh, serious part of life, the uptight um, uh, rigors that are demanded of us. And they give us uh, permission to uh, let go and be a little wonky. And so. Um, they, they're enjoyable because they connect us to that sort of hospitality and laughter of life um, that we can enjoy um, between the, 